You know when they say, hey, like, what will you die for? What will you live for? Uh, where were you? You just missed such a beautiful stream. Right here at the number one chill spot on the internet. Like we are magnificent creatures. Well, that's the beauty of hindsight. And it's tricking your mind into thinking you're experiencing all these things at once. Dude, hindsight is the f***ing homie, bro. Mm. Oh, we had such a beautiful stream, but don't worry. I got a clip for you. It's okay. We're going to share. We're going to talk about how our old ways may not serve us in this new space and, you know, being more flexible and, you know, all of that. We're going to pivot. We're going to transform this year. So take a listen and stay to the end of the video because we have something to talk about. A reminder can go a long way. Sometimes we don't need new information. Sometimes we, we need to remind ourselves of the things we already learned or the things that already are all around us, right? This year, you may have to clip your wings so a new set of wings can grow. Clip your wings so a new set of wings can grow. What does that mean? You may have like a routine that worked really well in 2023. And you may be way too married to that way of being, that way of living. You may need a new routine in 2024. You want to be like water. You want to be flexible. You want to be able to pivot, change, and adapt, right? Don't be one of those people that find something that works for them and they think for the rest of their life they have to do it like that, you know? You may have to clip your wings so a new set of wings can grow. 2023, you may have been working 10, 12 hours a day. Maybe 2024, you get to clip that. Maybe, 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 maybe it's going to be a, a different way. You know? Maybe it's going to be less hours and now you're applying some other hours into some other areas. We may have to clip our wings so a new set of wings can grow. We may have to clip some of the belief systems we have that have been holding ourselves back that we're only holding on to to keep our communities so we can grow. Some of us only believe in things because we were told to believe in them. Someone, some of us only believe in things because the people around us believe in them. And really we're like, I don't believe in that, but if, if I don't believe in that, I tell people then am I going to lose my community? I think I'm going to be weird. Again, standing on our individuality is important, right? There may be belief systems that you have about yourself or the world that you simply aren't aligned with anymore. And that's okay. Clip your wings. So a new set of wings can grow. Your old ways may not serve you in this new space. There are new heights to see new views that stretch over the sea a new way to simply be clip your wings. So a new set of wings can grow. Change is like a constant expression, right? We shouldn't be afraid of it. We shouldn't be afraid of changing. Sometimes we think, oh, if I change, it's going to make it look like I don't know who I am or I'm flip flopping. No, it's just a constant expression. You're like water. You are flowing. You're going over the rocks. Sometimes you're still, sometimes you're raging, right? It's a constant expression. Alignment is not hard to find when you have a sound mind. What did we talk about earlier for those that were in the stream early that like humans have lost some natural abilities to connect, you know, because of our devices, our ways of being alignment, feeling aligned in ourself. Isn't that hard when we have a sound mind, when we have a clear mind, a focused mind, a mind that gets up and doesn't rush into the phone, a mind that gets up and doesn't rush immediately, immediately into worry, a mind that is not constantly in fear, a mind that is not distracted, right? Finds alignment. A sound mind is a whole mind, a calm mind, a present mind, a creative mind. Take a moment today, breathe and reflect. I am aligning myself. I am cultivating a sound mind. That should be like number one priority 2024 is having a sound mind, having clarity and thoughts. And what do you have to do to do that? You know, what brings you peace? Who brings you peace and protect your peace and know that peace is a process. Peace is something that we create every single day, but there's people in our life who bring a calm to our nervous system. They just bring a calm, you know, it's that their presence, something about them, their advice, you know, the laughter, the joy. And then there's people sometimes in our life 
who just rock our nervous system, who take, 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 and we let them, right? They are consuming us, consuming our mind, so we don't have a whole mind. You know, people that are like, uh, you know, good for your nervous system, it's like they pour into your mind. Ah, good ideas, you know, they pour into your mind. Oh, there's people who consume your mind. You can't get them out of your head. Constantly thinking the worst, right? Maybe your flesh is over, overly addicted to them. So now you're always in this lusting mindset and you can't even think clearly like and get creative. The fact that we have creative minds and we can explore that creative consciousness is such a gift. I was thinking back to like first humans because I've been watching a lot of evolution um, documentaries and like them finding skulls from like 50,000 years ago and like, you know, the humans that migrated. And I'm thinking about, I always think about early humans because we be so wowed by technology. Like, wow, look at technology. Wow, look at AI. But we don't get wowed by ourselves. Like we are magnificent creatures. Look what we've done with this world. We were once like at the mer complete mercy of nature and our surroundings. And then we figured out how to harness it and work with it. We were once hungry all day. And then we figured out to be like abundant with food, a little bit too abundant with food, right? We once used to get hunted by animals. And then we realized how to be the hunter and how to protect ourselves and build homes and build weapons and things like that. And then to the point where we are now modern human beings creating networks where we're all interconnected through like we're pretty, pretty crazy creatures. And then if you look at the world, the natural world, like we'd be scrolling on Instagram like, oh, my God, oh, my God. But then like we go outside, you look like, oh, my God, the world is beautiful. Holy damn, the world is beautiful. I don't even need a filter on this. The world is beautiful. And I was thinking about like early, 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 early people. And we know early people were creative, you know, because you've got little drawings and caves. But I imagine like the earliest of people, like before they knew nothing, like they were really just like out there. It was a lot of survival, right? There was a lot of fear. They were in surviving mode constantly not knowing what's going to attack them not knowing if they're going to eat again not knowing where they are what is happening in this existence there's probably less room for the mind to even create because they were in a constant fear and that constant fear and being in survival mode had them use their consciousness to figure out how to protect themselves and one day discovered fire and then you know created homes and then protected themselves and figured out how to harness water and through that fear, through that survival mode, they learned how to thrive and protect and preserve themselves. And then they started to create their basic needs were taken care of. And now human beings are creating art structures. I'm like, that's amazing. Imagine what happens when you can, when you take yourself out of constant survival mode, because some of us are in survival mode, just in theory, like you have a bed to sleep in tonight. You have food all day for the rest of the week, for the rest of the month, right? You can go to Starbucks and get a caramel macchiato and you're constantly just feeling like you're in survival mode. So you're not getting to exercise some of that creative consciousness and that genius that you have because you're stuck in this mode. And you're stuck in this mode because the world is telling you you're in that mode as well. The world is ending and other people are telling you, God is about to come back. And then this is happening. The economy is shit. And you're consuming all this fear, all this pain all this tragedy, all this division online. And it's tricking your mind into thinking you're experiencing all these things at once. And that can like literally be very crumbling for the spirit. For some people, it can be motivating in a way. For some people, it can be really disheartening and they lose hope, they lose joy. You have to find something that excites you to live. You know, when they say, hey, like, what will you die for? What will you live for? Thank you for tuning in, but I'd love for you to consider something. Joining us behind the scenes of the number one chill spot. This is a place where you get exclusive content, guided meditations, a space for members to chat, plus all the stream replays are exclusively in our chill space. And you get access to our stream calendar so you do not have to miss another stream. This is a ad-free, distraction-free space, a safe place where you can go on the internet, ground yourself, connect. It's a space curated just 
for you. Mobile app and desktop version available. Just click the link in the description. Think about it. I'd love to see you there.